Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and something to do a speed test compare between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro versus the Poco XC Pro. And the Poco XC Pro is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor with 8 GB of RAM, while the Redmi Note 11 Pro is powered by MediaTek Helio G96 processor with 8 GB of RAM. On the back, we have quad cameras on both phones. We have 48 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor while on the Redmi Note 11 Pro we have 108 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor and the back of the Redmi Note 11 Pro is made up of glass while on the Poco XC Pro has a plastic back and the frame on both phones is made up of plastic and both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side and the frame of the Redmi Note 11 Pro is more flat and you can see which gives a more premium feel over the Poco XC Pro and both phones also has a fingerprint scanner on the side on the bottom we also have a headphone jack on the Poco while on the Redmi Note 11 Pro we also have headphone jack on the top and you can see and both phones also has a dual speakers in this video I'm going to show you how is the Redmi Note 11 Pro is stacked up against the Poco XC Pro in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time here we go and logos came up first on the poco as compared to the redmi note 11 pro also we have android 11 with me ui version 13 versus android 12 with me ui version 13 i just received android 12 update on the poco x3 pro but no android 12 update on the redmi note 11 pro And the Redmi Note 11 Pro is way faster when it comes to booting up. While the Poco X3 Pro is taking a lot of time and you can see huge difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. Now the Poco it is also done, huge huge difference there. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices. On the Redmi Note 11 Pro we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Poco X3 Pro we also have a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate and both phones also has a punch hole and you can see on the center which is more smaller on the Redmi Note 11 Pro as compared to the Poco X3 Pro so now let's see apps opening speed everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same wi-fi network on both phones now let's open up phone dialer a little more faster on the redmi note 11 pro again we have different animation because we have android 12 versus android 11. next on the list is the settings let's see who's faster and the redmi note 11 pro a little more faster there again we have android 11 versus android 12 and you can see now let's go to the display and let me show you the refresh rate both phones has 120 hertz refresh rate again ips lc display versus a super amoled display so now let's check out some more application amazon shopping with same wi-fi network again we have qualcomm snapdragon 860 huge faster on the poco xc pro now let's see the scrolling that is phase very similar on both phones because of the 120 hertz refresh rate now let's check out some games application now let's opening up the candy Crush saga again we have Coco snapdragon 860 a little more faster on the poco xc pro also we had dual speakers let me show you and here's the poco xc pro with max volume here is the redmi note 11 pro and the redmi note 11 pro speakers is more louder but as far as the bass I'm concerned, it is more, more better on the Poco XC Pro. Now let's open Instagram, very similar. Faster on the Poco XC Pro again. Now let's open Snapchat, very similar. Opening up the Spotify. Spotify is also very similar. Now let's opening up Subway Surfer. And the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 is performing huge faster as compared to the MediaTek Helio G96 and you can see about 1 or 2 second difference there now let's opening up the Temper N2 and Temper N2 is faster 
on the Poco X E Pro, and you can see about one or two second difference there, not a huge different. I am expecting more difference between these two devices, but you can see about one or two second difference there. Now let's opening up the PUBG Mobile Heavy Game. Let's see this time who is faster. Again, we have Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor versus a MediaTek Helio G96. Huge faster on the Poco X E Pro, but at the end it is very similar. Also, we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate versus a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate, and the gaming performance is much better on the Poco X E Pro. Now let's open up the tutor and that is more faster on the Redmi Note 11 Pro. Now let's open up the Zedge and that is very similar on both phones. Now let's see the scrolling that is face very very smooth on both phones. Again we have 120Hz refresh rate on both phones and last time I launched in the cameras on both phones default camera application. Now let's see who is going to be the fastest one. And the Poco is a little more faster there as compared to the Redmi. Again, we have 48 megapixel main camera versus a 108 megapixel main camera. So now let's look at the front camera. And the front camera is more better on the Redmi Note 11 Pro as compared to the Poco. Okay guys, now let's see internet browsing speed. I am seeing to fall Google Chrome on both phones. Now let's open up Wikipedia. And Wikipedia is very similar on both phones. Now let's see the scrolling. Again, in the start, I see a little bit lag on both phones. After some time, it is very smooth on both phones. Now let's open this English, and that is very similar again. Now let's see the scrolling. Again, 120 hertz is working absolutely good on both phones. Next on the list is the Apple.com, and that is a little more faster on the redmi note 11 pro this time as compared to the poco xe pro and the poco xe pro is taking a lot of time so now let's see the scrolling very smooth no lag whatsoever so now let's check out ram management on both phones and both phones has a 8 gp of ram now let's see that who is performed good in the ram management now let's start off with the phone dialer refresh on the poco now let's open settings no refresh Amazon shopping, refresh on the Poco, opening up the Candy Crush Sega, refresh, Instagram, seems like in app refresh, let's see pin out, pin out is refresh on the Poco, looks like the RAM management it is really bad on the Poco XE Pro after the Android 12 update, let's see Snapchat, refresh, let's see Spotify, refresh, let's see Subway Surfer, refresh on the Poco, now let's open up the Tampa and 2, refresh on the Poco, opening up PUBG Mobile, PUBG is refresh on the Poco again. Now let's open up the Tutor, Zedge, and last we are back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and cast over have to say regarding the app's opening speed. As you can see that and the Poco X E Pro is performing more faster as compared to the Redmi Note 11 Pro in system based application as well as in game app during time because of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor as far as the RAM management are concerned and the RAM management it is really really good on the Redmi Note 11 Pro while on the Poco RAM management it is really really bad especially after the Android 12 update application it is not really optimized on the Redmi Note 11 Pro we have 5000mAh battery size with a 67 watt fast charging while with the Poco we have 5160 mAh battery size with a 33 watt fast charging and that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro versus the Poco X3 Pro let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video peace out